Hi everybody, Jillian here to share a brand new Bible journaling process video with you using the new releases in the Print and Pray shop from the Better Together artists. Before I jump into the process video, I want to give you a quick look at all of the new releases that are in the shop this week. I'm going to start with Brianna Showalter's release called Build a Bouquet. You get four sheets of these beautiful florals and greenery um, that you can build a bouquet with. Either add some stems, wrap them up in newspaper, tie them with a the bow, or put them in a jar of water. Next, we've got the release from a salted brew called Fun Size. You get two sheets. This is just a really adorable release. I'm not small, I'm fun size. Next up is the first set from Brave Little Taylor. This is called Seeds of the Gospel. You've got some cards down here, her beautiful hand lettering, and some really pretty fruits. Her other release in the shop this week is called Taylor's Handwriting. So you have a print, pray, and trace where you can put this under the page in your Bible and trace each letter and have some of Taylor's handwriting in your very own Bible. Or you can cut out each letter and have um, a tiled alphabet look in the margins of your Bible. Next up is the set Good to Grow from Elaine Davis. You've got some faux washi strips, some really fun elements, tabs, word fetty, beautiful florals, loving the colors and the releases this month. Next up is the release from Shauna Klingerman called The Little Things. This is the element set. It has four pages. So you get the tabs, faux washi strips, just some really fun patterns. You can use these as tip-ins, bookmarks, you can punch shapes out of these. These are just super versatile and I love the patterns. And then the second release from Shauna is the card set. So it echoes some of the same sentiments on these cards. So you get eight three by four cards and then two sheets that you could cut apart and paste in the pages of your traveler's notebook. So that's it. I'm going to go ahead and put you guys on fast forward and show you how I use a little something from each of these releases to create an entry in my journaling Bible. So for this entry I wanted to take a little something from each of the five digital sets and so that's what I'm gonna do here. The first thing I'm cutting out is this piece from Brianna Showalter's set, the Build a Bouquet set, and this is the verse 1 Corinthians chapter 16 verse 14 um, just scripted in her beautiful hand lettering and I like to print those types of things on transparency paper so that they kind of just melt into the background of the page. Next, since we're talking about love, I pulled this orange from Brave Little Taylor set. This is the set Seeds of the Gospel and I'm just trimming the uh, the space around that. Then I'm going to take this yellow washi strip. This is from Salted Brews set and I'm going to go ahead and trim that out and probably put that on the bottom of the page. So each of the five releases are all using the same color scheme so they're very easy to mix and match. So what I try and keep in mind when I'm pulling things from different sets to make the, it look cohesive on the page is I stick to only one maybe two colors and then just pull those colors from each set so that I know that it's going to look good on the page together. So I, I pulled up my tab punch here. I wasn't sure which direction I wanted to go, but I love these patterns from Shauna Klingerman set. So I ended up punching a few tabs. The, the rainbow stripe was really fun, and then I went back and I punched the black and white crosses, and then I also punched this really pretty floral pattern too. Next I'm looking through a lane set and I pulled out the word Fetty straight away and knew that would be really easy to fit in here. I also cut out some hearts and a little flower again in the orange and the yellow colors because I thought those would be pretty easy to use on the page and we're talking about love so I felt like a heart was, was natural. So what I like to do is kind of figure out where I want things on the page before I do anything, before I adhere them, before I paint a back, uh, background. This is typically the order that I do things in. So I decided that I needed a little something extra, so I went to the Good to Grow set from Elaine, and then I ended up cutting out this orange washi strip, and I'm going to go ahead and layer that on the bottom. So I just get things down on the page, see what it looks like if I need to add anything, if I need to take anything away. And so I'm going to pull a few more things out here before I go ahead and start on the background. Now there is a little bit of green on this page in the leaves on the orange stem, so I do end up pulling out some green word fetty from a lane set. So I really did get like three colors onto this page, but I still feel like it looks pretty cohesive. 
and then I'm just going to start putting things down and switching things around and uh, just trying to get an idea of, of where I want things to go. So once I get that figured out, I'm going to go ahead and put my Bible mat behind the page. And something that I've been into lately is just putting some plain white paint down on the background of my pages. I am using Elaine's very fun, very forgiving baby wipe technique where you simply apply the paint to your page using a wet baby wipe. The application is light enough so that you can still see all of the text, but it just kind of provides a little something extra on the background, in my opinion, than just having a blank page. So I'm going to hit that with my heat tool, and while I'm doing this, I'm thinking about what else I might want to add on here. It looks a little plain, I want to do something with the background. I'm going to add a little more white paint. The coverage is pretty sheer, so I ended up going back a couple times. Then I decide to get a few colors of Distress Ink, again in the orange and the yellow colors. And I'm just going to use some old packaging here from some Illustrated Faith Homespun stickers. And I'm just going to stamp the ink pad down on the packaging and then I have this little jar of water that I keep on my desk. And I'm going to dip a paintbrush in the water and move the ink around. Um, and then I'm basically using the plastic as a palette and putting the color on there and then picking it up with the brush from the plastic. So all I'm doing is moving the ink around with some water and a paintbrush and then I'm picking up the ink with the paintbrush and just very lightly tapping it down on the page. So I'm trying to frame the page. I'm concentrating it into the top right hand corner and the bottom right hand corner and then going towards the binding just a little bit to make a nice frame on the page. Now the distressed inks react with water so every time the pigment gets wet it's going to reactivate that pigment. So I'm drying it in between applications here so I don't get some weird muddy color. And I'm just going with the paintbrush and painting some of the orange and yellow color along the edge of the page just to get a little more color down. I'm just making this up as I go. I really wasn't sure what I was going to do when I sat down. This is honestly what my typical Bible journaling sessions look like and just kind of figuring it out as I go and so the great thing is while I'm kind of getting an idea of what I want my page to look like and having fun and playing with paint I get to think about the verse and then ultimately what I want to journal about so the verse that I'm journaling today simply says do everything in love it's 1st Corinthians chapter 16 verse 14 and so I'm going to go ahead and get everything down. I'm going to layer these washi strips on the bottom using some roller adhesive here and I like to have them hanging off the edge and then I'll just go back and trim the excess. And then get my tab down. I decided to go with the black and white cross because there was a little, kind of a lot happening on the page at this point and I wanted to keep things pretty neutral. Uh, granted that is a pretty bold neutral. <laughs> But I don't really overthink this part too much. I kind of just stick things down where I want them and uh, just leave it at that. I know that I want to use these word fetty. I'm not sure where they're going to go yet. I know that I want to have the journaling down first before I put much else down there because I don't want to run out of room. So while I'm thinking about that, I'm going to go ahead and finish my tab off. I really like to put word fetty at the on the tabs at the top of my page, and so I use that word fetty set which is in the print and pray shop, it's from Elaine Davis, and it says mad love. Not like angry love, just like a lot of love. <laughs> you can see I drew some journaling lines there with my illustrated faith pen. I like to do that just to highlight the journaling a little bit and make sure it doesn't slant downward. So I knew that I didn't have much to say on this page, so I ended up going into my pouch where I keep my print and pray things that I've already cut up, and I pulled a couple other pieces of fruit from Taylor's set. The kiwi is actually from a journaling card and then that little orange slice is from from the seeds of the gospel set also. Now I'm just going to go ahead and start sticking things down and then I actually wait until the end to do my journaling here which is typically not what I do. I was having fun and just kind of wanted to think about it a little longer. I ended up using this black cross washi tape from Illustrated Faith because it went with the tab at the top so well and I wanted to put that in a few places on the page. I like to do things in threes so I put it on the bottom, in the middle, and then you've got the tab on the top. 
So next I'm going in with the journaling pen and I simply wrote some sermon notes that I kind of had um, on my mind still and I just wrote, Lord, my devotion to you is authenticated by my love for others. Help me to love outside my comfort zone. It's really easy to get caught up in me, me, me and to only want to do things for others when it's easy for us and or at least I know that that's my mindset. So um, that's just my little prayer that I'm including in the margin, uh, just asking for help loving outside my comfort zone. And that's it. Here is a finished look at the page along with a couple of close-ups. Thank you for watching. If you're interested in any of the products you've seen, be sure to check out the print and pray shop at illustratedfaith.com shop. See you next time.